Link 2012. Hello everybody, thanks for joining me here today. Uh, this is Link 2012, back from the grave. <laughs> today I'm going to be doing a, a Bedrock Redstone tutorial. I hope to be doing some more tutorials soon, helping you guys understand how to do some of the more basic and, in this case, complex stuff in Minecraft. This is a Bedrock tutorial, um, although the same cons... It's interesting because in Bedrock there's a lot of limitations compared to Java Edition. However, with the feature I'm about to show you, uh, actually Bedrock Edition is capable of this where Java Edition is not. And I'll get into a little bit of detail on that later. But first, let me pose a problem to you. Let's say you're playing Boast Belief with your friend, and you make this big fat gap. And your friend's over here, and, and you're like, I don't want to jump that because that's pretty scary. Um, he hits you off in the process, and now you're like, well, now I'm doomed. I'm down here on the second layer. I can't even get up to him. Oh, wait. I've got a double jump. So you go ahead, you right-click your trusty double jump, and you're right back into the action. All right. So one of the interesting features of Bedrock is that when you teleport players, it actually completely resets their motion. This is not something that happens in Java Edition. In Java Edition, if you teleport something, their motion stays the same. So what this means is that this sort of feature wouldn't be possible in Java Edition on players at the very least, on entities you could try to do some tricky work around. Now, Let's go ahead and uh, take a look a little bit at the redstone for this. So this is the redstone for the double jump here. Um, it's actually a lot of this is just detecting me using the double jump so you can ignore this first row right here. So I'm going to show you guys how to make these two rows right here, these top two, so that way you guys can make this for your own maps. So let's go ahead. Let's make a little function over here and grab some command blocks. Got some command blocks right here. Excuse me, splash pushing. All right, so this way you can actually turn on and off this just by removing this redstone block. So the first thing we're going to do is actually note that this is double jump, so that way you can see this function in your map pretty easily if you just hover right over it in creative mode. Now, in order to do this, we're going to need a scoreboard. So let's go ahead and add a scoreboard for this. Scoreboard objectives add jump dummy. Now I've already created this objective. So I'm actually going to remove it over here, so that way uh, these redstones don't interfere with each other. Alright, so the first thing we're going to need to do is detect when the player is actually using the double jump. So in this case, I'm actually detecting when a player uses this map item. Um, however, this has some limitations, um, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it with a splash potion right here. You can do this with any entity, just replace the type in these commands. So we're actually going to detect it, so where you, when you throw a splash potion, it's going to go ahead and launch you into the air. I'm going to go ahead and set the scoreboard up right here. That way, we can go ahead and see this jump option. Alright, so first things first is we're going to use the execute command. And we're going to actually execute at all type equals splash potion. And relative to that splash potion, we're going to scoreboard players set at p jump one. So this is going to set the players jump to one so long as they throw that splash potion. Let's go ahead and see this in action. So as you can see right there, my jump just went up to one. So now we've actually got to make it increment. So scoreboard players add at all scores equal jump equals one dot dot, only add two dots there, jump one. So now you're going to see this number skyrocket up. Now we're going to bring that down to zero in a second here, but first of all, there's a problem which is that this is going to always stay at the same number if we throw this potion. So we've actually got to kill that potion off. So let's go ahead and kill at E type equals splash potion. So this is very important. So that way you can only use, if you're doing these special types of functions, you can only use these entities once in the map. But as you can see here, as soon as I use it, it begins incrementing up. So now what we're going to do is set player scores to zero once it hits a certain value. So scoreboard, player set at all, scores 
equal jump equals 20, jump zero. So just like this. So now it'll only count up to 20 and then stop. Now, if you wanted to add a longer double jump, you can go ahead and increase that value there. A lot of the values can be tweaked. I'll probably try to point out the ones that can't be. All right, so at this point, we've got our little increment going up. Now, before you get too far into the double jump process, you might want to add some special effects. So at this point, you would go execute at all, scores equal jump equals one, and then tilde, tilde, tilde. And you can go ahead and add some particles. You can go ahead and add some sounds. So we're gonna go ahead and add a sound here just as an example for you guys. Play sound, note.pling at all. So now we use this. It won't play any sounds. Ah, you see, I'm gonna have a couple errors in this. I do apologize, <laughs> but the jump has to be two in any of these cosmetic things. So when they jump, you can go ahead and do this command, execute at all scores, jump equals two, tilde, 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 do whatever command you want, and that will add different effects. So in this case, we're doing a sound whenever they throw this potion. You might also want to stop the sound of the potion throwing. That way it doesn't sound so off-putting. All right, so let's say you have all your aesthetics done here, but now it's a tricky part. You've actually got to make the player jump again. So let's go ahead and start programming that in. And this is going to be the longest part, so pay close attention or feel free to pause the video if you need to. First, we're going to execute a command relative to any player that has the jump score of two. Let's go ahead and add that in. And we're going to teleport them. Now, you'll notice a couple of things about this double jump. It teleports you up a certain... I have it deleted right here. Let's go ahead and do this. Teleports you up a certain amount as well as forward. Now you can see here that the double jump is reduced because of this extra redstone. But it teleports me a little bit in the direction I'm looking as well as upwards. So if I look up, I can go up a lot farther. So we're going to go ahead and add those two components in here. So first thing we're going to do is the upwards component. So basically we're going to execute at these players and we're going to detect one block above them to make sure it's air. And we're also going to detect the block they're going to teleport to to make sure it's air as well. This ensures that they can't actually teleport through blocks. So we're going to go ahead and execute above one air zero, execute at s, detect tilde 1.8 air zero. Should be another two tildes right here. Should not be a zero. And now we're going to go ahead and do the teleport command. So it's going to teleport at s. And we're going to go ahead and go up 1.8 blocks. Your command should look like this when you're done with it. All right. So we can go ahead and exit out of this. So now when we go ahead and use this potion, it's going to teleport us a little bit up. But obviously, that's just a little bit. We want to teleport you a lot more. So we're going to add some more commands here. So go ahead and hold control on your keyboard and use the middle mouse button to click this command block. This will copy all of the contents within this command, so you're not going to have to spend as much time rewriting it, okay? Now we're going to go ahead and place this down and add a second command. So this time we're going to make sure that their jump score is 3, and we're going to detect the block that is 1.35 blocks above them. Make sure it's air. And we're going to go ahead and teleport them that amount. All right, and so we're going to repeat this process a few times. This time we're going to make sure it's 0 0.9. At this point, we're actually going to remove this second detect command as well. Go ahead and do this, just like so. All right. We're going to go 0 0.45. And make sure you're incrementing your jump score by one each time. So here it's two, here it's three, 
and then here I accidentally put 3 again. So this actually needs to be 4, otherwise it will make them jolt. And this one should be 5, right here. There we go. That's correct. Alright, and we're going to make them go up another 2 5 blocks. The score of 6. And last but not least, we're going to make them go up another tenth of a block. All right, so now if we go ahead and use a potion, we'll go up quite a ways. And it looks pretty smooth. Obviously, it's not perfect uh, because Minecraft has a limit of 20 ticks per second. However, this is as close as you're going to get to a double jump. Now, you might have noticed that the original double jump actually took you quite farther. Now, the reasoning for this is that we also have that component of the direction you look, you're going to jump a little bit in that direction. So let's go ahead and add that component in now. We're going to go ahead and steal our initial command over here just to make our lives a little bit easier. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to replace all of these tildes with carrots. Now what this is going to do is it's basically going to execute all of these commands relative to where the player is looking. And one other thing is that the number, the 1.8, actually needs to be on the third carrot. So just like you see me doing right here. Okay. So now that's going to go ahead and teleport us a little bit in the direction we look. You see we're moving forward a little bit each time. So I was over there, now I'm over here. Let's go ahead and add in the other commands. So you'll remember, just like last time, we're going to go 1.35 blocks, change the score to 3, then we're going to go up another 0 0.9 blocks, And we're going to remove the second detect command. Change the score to four. I'm going to go ahead and go up one so that way we can stay in the same chunk at this point. At this point, we're going to go up 0.45 blocks. Change the score to five. We're going to go two five blocks. Change the score to 6. And last but not least, we're going to go up a tenth of a block and change the score to 7. Now this is great as you can use two double jumps back to back, have the same effect. As you can see right here, it has the effect of also teleporting us a little bit in the direction that we look. So if you'll remember, last time we could only get up about to this TNT, but now will go quite a bit higher because we're looking upwards. All right, and so that should be it for the redstone. Now you might ask, how do you modify this if you want to make the jump bigger? What if you want to make the jump smaller? So normally you're going to have to apply a gravitational equation for this, but honestly, you might be a little bit lazy. So in that case, all you need to do is just reduce these numbers by a little bit or have fewer of them. So maybe you only want them to go up a couple of blocks, so you're going to start right here. You're going to teleport them 0 0.9 blocks up. You're going to go ahead and ignore these two right here. And you could even do that by adding these redstone right here. All right, I think that should be it. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope that this tutorial helped you learn how to make a double jump. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comments down below. Also, I'm going to try to have a list of all these various commands in the description if you guys want to go ahead and copy them over instead of typing them out manually. But until next time, everybody, don't forget to contribute, and as always, make the most of your day.